Today, we're gonna explore Seaside, Oregon. Come join us. Seaside is one of the most popular destinations on the Oregon coast. Kite festivals, sandcastle events, and many local shops are just the beginning of what you will find at Seaside. Grandma Snoops and I love Seaside, and like so many others, find amazing memory-making things to do when we are here. If you want to relax and get away from it all, climb out on the beach, build a fire, and listen to the ocean roar. But Seaside is best described in one word, vacation. This town brings that feeling to life. Seaside was brought to life when a railroad tycoon built Seaside House in 1870. From that, the town expanded to what it is today. Through just about the middle of town and traversing north and south is the Nicanicum River. The river separates some of the hotels and you can find your favorite paddle boat here. Even on a cool day like today, people venture out on the river. Kayaking is also a hit, but for me, it takes a little warmer temperatures. Broadway is the main drag where most of the activity happens. Here you will find specialty shops, restaurants, bakeries, bars, pizza, everything from fine steaks and seafood to Prano pups and elephant ears. You can browse the specialty shops most locally owned and grab some hard to find candy, get an ice cream cone, stop for an elephant ear, then head over to the Prano pup shop. Can you tell I'm a fat guy? Ethnic food is also plentiful, and Broadway boasts one of the more famous coastal restaurants, Moe's. Here, walking is faster than driving, but if you get here early, you may find a spot to park on the street. The beach at Seaside, nothing else to say. Here you will find miles of sand where you can set up camp for an evening sunset. The kids can dig in the sand until they find China, not to mention some of the best kite flying weather on the coast. Bring a volleyball, there are nets set up. Bring a frisbee, football, picnic, you can use your imagination.
take a walk on the prom, a paved walkway that follows the beach line. Generally, you can find artists carving out sand castles and figures to street entertainers vying for your tips. One thing is for certain, you can't run out of things to do in Seaside. Seaside abounds in history. Not far to the north is Fort Clatsop, where Lewis and Clark spent the winter before heading east again. The salt works in Seaside was used to heat salt water and make salt, which was an important ingredient needed for their trip east. Fort Stevens housed military personnel with different types of armament to protect the mouth of the Columbia River from aggressors during the World Wars. That is just a hint of the many places to see and visit if you're a history buff. Thank you. One of our favorite areas is the south end of the beach we call the Avenue U District. Here you can find quality beaches, fishing, and the occasional surfer. But watch out for the rocks. We wanted to give a shout out to Camp 18 Restaurant and Gift Shop. This restaurant has been greeting visitors since the early 1970s. When visiting, look at the construction of the building, the fireplaces, main doors, all fitting the logging theme that Mr. Smith desired. On the property, you will find many pieces of equipment that was used for the logging in the area. Do not forget to pay your respects to the Loggers Memorial, a hall dedicated to all the loggers that lost their lives while working in the logging industry.
hope you enjoyed our visit to Seaside, Oregon. It's a great place to visit. It's one of our favorite places on the Oregon coast. If you like our video, give us a like or a comment. Better yet, subscribe to our channel. Once again, thanks for watching Senior Snaps. We hope you've enjoyed our video. If you like our video, give us a like or a comment or subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you on our team. Once again, thanks for watching Senior Snips. Thank you.